What's going on guys? Drawing Chaos here with another Satisfactory Let's Play. And we are back in this wonderful creative world. Currently we are working on this giant mega palace and it is coming along quite nicely. Was able to redo some of this stuff in the front of the building and boy does it look so much better. A little bit more evil, Star wars ish but definitely, definitely showcases everything I love about this build and that it is epic huge and a pain in the butt but of course we have a lot going on on the inside as well as you can see right here I got the big main floor where I have all the wonderful trains down below and of course the entire outside so if we fly up to the heavens you can actually see that everything around here is coming along just nicely Ooh, except for the lag spikes. But, you know, those come occasionally when you have something this, uh, crazy. So, right now, as you can see, I've been building the interior work of it. Even went so far as to go all the way down here and build out every single one of the trains. And we have quite a lot. It looks like one of those infinity walls going all the way down. Ooh, Sherman Bulgan hanging. Love that place. Is that from Final Fantasy VII? Not again. But anyway, some of the other stuff I have is I have the water down here ready to go for all the uh, nuclear power plants up front. And I have a lot of different corridors down here leading to, well, random places and stuff like that. Like all the extra water coming down here that I'm going to use for, well, something. And one of my favorite rooms that is just off of the main entrance that really showcases the, uh, the gravitas or the epicness of it is our hypertube room, which is looking fan freaking tastic Unfortunately, it's not hooked up to anything, so it's just for show right now. But overall, everything is coming along nicely. Oh, and then someone asked me. It was hilarious. They're like, hey, is this part of the other series that you're doing? Home Life, where you give out the save? Is this save part of it? <laughs> uh, no. But that is not from lack of trying. I mean, <laughs> maybe if we hit enough subscribers, I might actually get it out. Oh, we need to like an arbitrary number. What kind of number will we go? How about 10,000? There we go. If we hit 10,000 subscribers, measly drop in the bucket. Uh, sure, I'll have this out there. 100%. No problem. But with that being said, today I want to work on some actual production. And I want to work on some aluminum. Aluminum. However you want to say it, we definitely want this. And it's going to go from the solution to the scraps to the ingots. And then, well, maybe that later. But first, we need to figure out all this stuff. Because if I chose it... Oh, we have a couple different alternative recipes we can use, but we're going to have to look into that. Before we do that, though, I really want to finish putting something over here. Give me like eh, one second. I'll come up with something just to have this area filled in and looking nice. Well, that didn't take long. And look, I made the North Star. So now we know exactly which way to go. And it's even facing north, depending on which way you look at it anyway. So this top layer right here gives us a really cool structure that fits in very nicely with the rest of it. Even, of course, giving us some depth so we can have a little fun with that. But underneath as well, I just built down on here and it looks so much more, well, so much more thicker. But it does uh, take care of everything that we need. Oh, and even put this cool little strut thing in here. I kind of turned these foundations as they went down, giving it a little spirally effect. Looks really cool, I like it, but I kind of wish we had more building material to work with. Because sometimes after a while you just kind of get the same looking things over and over again. But it was fun to do this little section right here, cause if we actually fly in, just a second. So this big area, as we're walking down, this is going to lead all the way down there. The side area, as we walk along, we can actually look up here and see that area as well as some cool little stuff like that and it's even nice because you get to go up here and you get to walk all the way around and it's a good way around the back of the base while still looking off in the distance because you know that might be a thing that people might want to do 
So, like I said, with that John and out of the way, it is time to work on our aluminum. And I'm thinking of building one over there and one over there. So half here, half over there. Maybe a train for each. But first things first, we're not going to build at this level. I want to build down. So I have two levels to choose from. I have this one right here in the middle, and then I have the one right below it. So I think I was going to start here and then work my way up. Because what's underneath it is all the water that I have coming along. So if I take the water and I bring it up to here, this is where I can start making the aluminum. The real question is, how am I going to start it? Because if we take our production, we're going to take the refinery, and then we are just going to build it. And I'm thinking of like putting them in a good half circle right over here. Oh, come on, you little guy. There we go. So something like this, and they're all hooked together. Okay, so if there's the middle one I want to put there, I can do, what is it, five, and then... Hey, I can do five and five. Wait a minute, let me look at the recipes that I have, because I have two recipes. Where did you go? Aluminum scraps. That is... Oh, no, we're doing aluminum solution first. I have two aluminum solutions, so 120 bauxite with 180 huada, making some aluminum solution. Or I can do the wet and sloppy aluminum, which takes 200 bauxite, 200 water, and produces us 200 aluminum solution. Now this will take 10 bauxite to make 12 aluminum solution, where this will take 12 bauxite to make 12 aluminum solution. So a 1 to 1 ratio, or we'll have, where is it, yeah this one, a 1 to, actually no, wait, that would be 10, that would be a 5, oh we, yeah it could be a 5 to 6. Can I divide it even further than that? I don't know. I'm not good with math. But that's beside the point. Anyway, so uh, 5 to 6 ratio kind of thing. Uh, that'll definitely improve it. But the nice thing about this original one is it does produce silica. And that way we don't have to use as much quartz. I can have the quartz focused on something like quartz crystals, which I was lucky to have some in my inventory. That makes great learning experience. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm curious. So, 180 water. If I put these into groups of five, so 180 times five is 900. What was the other one that we had? I think it was like uh, 200. Come on. This is why you don't back out of anything. 200. So, if we take 200 and then we times that by five, that's a thousand. So 900 or a thousand. Yeah. 900 is not too bad. Then it's only a pipe and a half. Wait, how many pipes do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. Okay, so I have 12 of those. Ooh, the other thing is too, this will do 200 bauxite, so that's still 1,000. And then how much bauxite do I need for here? 120. So 120, so that'll be the 120, and that'll be times five, and that'll be a 600. Ooh, so if I do 500, that'll be a 600 line. Okay, I need a whiteboard real quick. This is math time. All right, all right, prepare yourself for <gasps> math. So we have 9,780 box side per minute that we can grab throughout the entire map. I know this because I made myself a lovely little spreadsheet that actually showed how many nodes there were, how much each node produces, what happens if I overclock each one by 250%, and that is how I came up with the lovely 9,780. Don't test me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, if we divide that by two, because we want half over here and half in the other side, so we have a nice mirror image, that means 4,890 bauxite per minute will be able to come into this place if we grab every single bit of it. So, if we have the 600 lines, which is the five machines that we have right over here, that means that we need 8.15 sets of refinery. Now, if we times that by five, we're going to go for 40 refineries because we're going to get rid of that 0.5, and we're just going to have a little overflow just in case. So, we're going to do eight groups instead of 8.15, which means, hold the phone, let's do some little more math right here. We're going to be producing 120 alumina solution, and we have 40 machines. 
120 alumina solution times the 40 machines. That is 4,800 alumina solution per side. Not bad. But how much silica? 50. So we'll go back into here, get rid of this, and that is 50 times the 40 machines. So we have 2,000 silica. Now, why do I want all this extra silica? Because. Now, one of the things we can use silica for is high-speed connectors, which we need for so many different things, uh, which instead of using cable, we can use silica. And uh, let's see, so 10, uh, 56 of these to make one, or a little bit of 60 to make two. And because we're making all that extra silica, who we can make so many of those. But there are other things. Ah, here we go. Circuit boards. Now, if we take the copper sheets and silica, we can make ourselves some circuit boards, which would come in real handy. Because not only will we be making circuit boards with them, where was it? The high-speed connectors also need circuit boards. So that's silica into both of these to make one item that we really need. That being said, I'm going to come out with a beautiful design for this, and then I can start working on the next floor up here, where I have to take all that aluminum solution and turn it into aluminum scrap, which I'm kind of thinking of doing the same similar design, where I have something like this. The only question is, how much aluminum solution can fit into one of these? Actually, let's take a look at it right now, because we have two different recipes to choose from. We have this one, which takes coal, which we don't really need coal in much of the build as we go in thus far, uh, which would take 240 and make it into 360. That's a 2 to 3 ratio. Ooh, that's pretty good. Whereas the other one is a 180 into 300? So it's a 12 to 20. If I do that, it's a 6 to 10. I think that's the closest. 6 to 10? No, it's a 3 to 5. 3 to 5. Wait, which is better? Oh, God, fractions. No! Anyway, this produces 105 extra water, but this uses petroleum coke, which is oil-based. Uh, whereas this one uses coal, which is coal-based. So, yeah, this is a 4 to 3. So this is a 2 to 3. 2 to 3 or 3 to 5? 2 to 3 or 3 to 5? I'm going to Google it. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the 2 to 3 is better just because it gives us an extra six, uh, 0, 6, 7. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm on a website looking this up instead of just trying to figure it out normally. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we are going to go with this lovely ratio of uh, 2 to 3. Which is the aluminum solution plus coal, which means I can use all that wonderful coal that I got going on to make myself some aluminum solution. This is going to be swell. So, yeah. Wait, then how many can I have then? Because I'm producing... Oh, this will take 240 aluminum solution. And how much aluminum solution am I going to be producing from this one? 120. So all five of these will basically be in two and a half. Oh, jeez. All right, I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. Give me a minute. Honestly, I didn't know how this would come out, but I am so happy with how it did. Check this out. Aww. Now, if I get on top of here, da, 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 you can get a better view of it. So we got a good entranceway. I had extra space to kind of get rid of. And I wanted this traversable so you can actually go around and touch up the machines and like, let's say this one's not working. I should probably be able to, yeah, there we go. And everything is pretty much set. You know what, let's fly around so we can see this better. There we go, check this out. So we have everything hooked up in groups of five. So we have these two over here, and then these three over here. So that's one group. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight and eight pipes going straight up. Was even able to do a nice two on each side kind of thing. And oh man, it came out looking shnazzy. 
you then found a cool way to do all the wonderful, uh, what do you want to call it, um, silica. Yeah, because now I'm going to figure out where it's all going. <laughs> but it's definitely looking good. Oh, oh, and I was even able to do the place above. So if like a ghost I fly through the ceiling, uh, we can get to the next area where I have all the aluminum solution being taken care of. So the way that I got it going is I have one pipe coming in and being taken care of and I just put in one power thingy or whatever, one uh, power shard in each one doing 40, 450 items per minute, 125%. And that was able to take care of it just fine. So we have two here, two here, two, two, and then I had a whole bunch of extra space. So while well, I was playing with pipes, <laughs> I might have to redo this because it's looking a kind of bit uh, uh, janky to say the least. But I had plenty of space to do and I didn't really know what to do. But the nice part about it is I was able to put in all the wonderful lines going here. So when I have coal coming up, I have the four different sets of coal that I can grab from. Which reminds me, how much coal do I need for each one of these lines? So this needs 120 coal, and then add another 25%, which is a quarter of it. So that's an extra 30, so 150. So that means 300 coal per line. So actually, I could have merged these two together. Oh, but it looks so neat like this. I'm going to leave it like this for now. But so far, that is it. Or it would be if I didn't get ahead of myself and decide that, well, you see all these wonderful lines? Each machine is producing, what did I say, 450? 450, which means I basically have to have each one on its own line. And then they all go up. To the next area and boy this will be producing a lot I'm talking a lot of uh, aluminum ingots which I didn't even choose dang it so basically every bit of aluminum scrap that we're producing is gonna be turned into half as much aluminum ingots because we're going pure recipe because I do not want to waste the extra what is it you gotta do it like a foundry yeah, so see the other, the normal recipe, if we go over here, it takes aluminum scrap and silica. So a six to four, so a three to two, which is not bad considering the other one takes it in half, but then we have to use silica. And trust me, we're not producing enough silica down there to make this as uh, pure as it needs to be. But we don't need as much aluminum as you think, so I might as well just go with what we got over here. Uh, 120 and we are going to times that by 60 means we are making 7,200 scrap uh, just to make sure that's correct what do we have one two three four five six seven eight eight times two so 16 16 times 450 so we'll do 16 times 450 yep 7,200 all right so we have that much aluminum scrap coming in, and how much does this produce? 30, right? So basically, you know, 7,200 divided by, well, divided by half. Wait, no, divided by two, what am I doing? Numbers are hard. So we are making 3,600 aluminum ingots per minute just in this one side. With the other side, that's going to be another 3,600 aluminum ingots. And then later on, aluminum, 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 we have alclad aluminum sheets and aluminum casing. So alclad aluminum sheets, which is with copper. And isn't the aluminum casing right here? It is. Also with copper. So either way I look at it, I can pick whichever one I want, and I will have plenty aluminum for that. So before I worry about where the rest of the aluminum is actually going to be going on to, or building the other side for that matter, uh, Coffee Stain has decided to update the game. So I am building currently in update number six, and boy howdy, they have updated the Fix It Foundations. Which means now these ones right here we can have on coated and all sorts of stuff. So I'm going to be able to build some really cool stuff with that. As well as if we go into the awesome shop, 
under what is it customizer no foundations foundations ah there we go we now have a quarter pipe extension pack and half foundations so we're definitely gonna grab those and we're gonna double check to see if there's anything else oh yes clean pipelines because if we're making anything with pipes and stuff like that we might want to go with this I don't know could be useful and then of course I think that is it for now because we have unlocked everything else and they have not added anything else thus far that I have seen well fix it special maybe equipment no yep so that's gonna be it so we want to unlock those and then what I want to do is I want to build out this way I just want to go to town and just start building stuff I already started a little bit as we drop down over here you can see I wanted to build out on this wall, which I did in the last time I built this, but I want to continue and just keep building this all going out. So give me a minute, let me uh, fiddle with that and see what I come up with, with all the new stuff. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to lie, but this came out better than expected. Now, unfortunately, I got to fly fast because it is quite a distance away. So as I showed you guys before, we had the main room. And now, when you go to the right, it looks phenomenal. Oops. It looks phenomenal in here. Real great. And, of course, we got the hallways going all the way down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these walls over here. Uh, you know, basically when we have some place to go into. But right now, they're just kind of like that. But as we get down to the very end of this, oh, does it lead into something special. Damn, it even changes the light. Uh, so here, let me see if I can turn my... Ah, there we go. So I got my flashlight on. So we went with a fun-looking pattern for the top of up here. Kind of give it that nice little curve vibe and everything like that. And then, oh yeah. We'll slow down for this, but... Dun-dun, da-da-dun-dun, da da dun dun Copyright strike! Man, oh man. This really gives it that huge vibe going on over here. Oh, this was one of the cool parts. They added in all this new stuff, and oh, it makes a very cool center pillar holding up the top. Oh, I love it. And then, of course, doing the walls like this. I mean, having the curved stuff around there, oh, it helps so much. And even having the half stuff, wait. So if I take a look at this, see, I have a half foundation on its side going all the way up, and then I put a column center pillar to fill the hole, and then another one on its side going this way, upside down one, now that we have the nice smooth coated, oh, it looks just perfectly going together. I love it. I like the nice little shine from the light too. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh. But as you can see, the light likes to blind itself on there, which is really good. And of course, I want to make this like really epic looking because this leads somewhere special. This over here, this is sort of the exit on one side. And I really wanted to keep this going with all this glass on the top. Oh, I really wanted to showcase it. So leave down in the comment section what you guys think I should put in this room uh, maybe a nuclear power plant or something like that it looks like it should house something but it doesn't <laughs> but it's really nice too because if you go all the way over to the edge over here it is now like a lookout platform so I can just look into the abyss and look over and well basically see rock hey maybe coffee stain will take those rocks away who knows but even this over here, ooh, this was so much fun to design. Look at this, it is a outer corner extension and just a couple foundations put in there. Oh, it is so cool. It is coming along nicely. I am loving the new additions to the buildings and everything like that. All the new building stuff, all the wonderful stuff. And if you like what you see, you know what to do. I'm not even gonna ask for it this time. You guys, you already know. But that is going to be it for me today as I wallow in having to try and build this again, this complex on the other side, because it has to be a nice mirror of itself. Uh, but with that being said, without further ado, it is time for me to skedaddle. 
Anyway, y'all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, buddy.